You wake up to the sound of birds chirping outside your window. Then your phone starts ringing. Hey, Ridley, wanna hang out? Sure, we're two. Okay, camp. Say bye to your parents and make sure to leave your will. Wait, what do you? No, he already hung up. Ah, <sighs> he can be that weird sometimes. While well, packing stuff up for later, you notice your parents standing by the door. What happened to their faces? Hey, are you going somewhere? Camping. You answer while shrugging. Okay, be sure to have your phone with you at all times. Sure. Don't forget that we won't be here for the weekend. It'll take care of the house, don't worry. How can they see where they're going? They ain't got no face! After packing and taking a shower, you decide to go downstairs to eat breakfast with your parents. Then you head out to see Ash. As you approach the restaurant owned by Ash's family, an ambulance can be heard nearby. Getting even closer, you see some police officers taking care of the crowd. It seems that part of the road has been sealed off due to a recent incident. Now wanting to trespass, you decide to reach the restaurant by going the other way around. As you do so, suddenly you feel a hand on your shoulder. It's chomping time! A voice exclaims. You quickly turn around to see your silly friend laughing at you. You realize it's your friend, Ash. This is why you don't have many friends. Where's your face? All you've got are eyes! Right, because of that. Ash says with a remorseful face, What face? Say, uh, do you know what all that is about? You point at all the commotion happening close to your friend's home. Some idiot pretending to be a vampire or whatever. It's cool now, I think. You think? Yeah, don't even worry about it. I'm going to worry about it. Anyway, we can't go eat at our restaurant for some time though. That's weird. It's something bad happened there. I don't know. But speaking of eating, let's grab something to eat in that other restaurant. I could eat a whole cow right about now. You look at your wristwatch and realize why Ash was starving. Sure. Let's go then. Am I the only person in this town that's got a face? Is that a case? You and your friend decide on what to order as you two made your way to the restaurant. Minutes later, Ash remembered something crucial. Oh! What? Yeah, I forgot to pack some condiments for dinner. You know I can't live without peppering my food before eating it. Especially campfire cooked food. Ash confesses, kneeling to the ground. You always like to overreact. Can't you just bear with it for today? I can, but... Don't be surprised if I feel like running around in search of deliciously seasoned meat. I mean, if you want some deliciously seasoned meat, all you gotta do is like rub some uh, like barbecue sauce down there and you know what? You know what? I can supply you the meat, all the meat you'd like. I'm saying this knowing full well that this is a game about cannibalism. You throw an annoyed look at Ash. Well, enough chatting. Let's just get inside of this place. You reach to the restaurant's door handle and open the door. You and Ash ordered food as soon as you found a table for the both of you. You talk for a while about trivial matters until you and your friend had finished your meal. While well, waiting for the bill, Ash decided to go to a bathroom and stay there for a while. He reappeared after, even helped in paying the bill. It did leave you confused as to what he was doing there for so long. You okay, buddy? You ask Ash when you see an expression on his face that left you curious. Yeah, never been better. If you say so. Do you have all the stuff for our dinner at the campsite? Food related? Yeah. What about knife and pots? Whoops. Yeah, maybe we should buy that on our way there. Sounds like a plan. You, accompanied by Ash, leave the restaurant and head for the nearest warehouse store. With minimal hassle, both arrive at the store to purchase the necessary items. All the while, a disturbing bathroom murder was being reported on the radio. What's this all about? Don't know. Don't care. Hey, look at how sharp the knife is. After a while, you got everything that was needed for later. The sun began to set. And with everyone else retreating to the safety of their homes due to the threat of a serial killer on the loose, you decided to call a taxi to take you and your friend to the campsite. 
An hour later, the taxi arrived at the campsite. Ash gets out of the taxi while you are paying for the fare. He began looking around at the place. That place looks good. Let's stay there, Ash said as he pointed to an isolated part of the campsite. Sure. We have not much choice to the matter. You agree on staying in that place for the evening? At the campfire, you and your friend cook some food. You leave your friend in charge of the meat boiling in the pot. You look away for a second and then you witness Ash devouring all the meat that was in the pot. Not enough. Still hungry. Still hungry, he reaches out towards you, attempting to take a bite out of your nose. You try to make a run for it, but unfortunately, he manages to grab onto your leg. Uh, hey, uh, ho, and reach for the hot pot, wrestle free from his grasp. I reach for the hot pot. You throw at your friend's face and you see them squirming around. You are free to run away. You have survived one scenario. After a whole lot of sprinting, you find a hunter stuck in a bear trap. Oh, thank goodness. Please, help me. Ash must be close behind you. There's no way you'll outrun him if he finds you. But maybe if someone else takes the fall, you decide to close the bear trap further. What sort of psychopath am I? Well, the sort of psychopath that's getting close to bear trap further, apparently. Let's do that. You move sneakily closer. Bless your heart, young one. Truly you are. And slam the bear trap down onto the hunter's foot. Oh, God. Wait. You... You freed me! Thank you, brave... That wasn't part of the plan! My very own savior! Uh, sure. I'll be heading off. I think the cannibal I heard of might be coming down for a visit. So kind of you to spare time to save little old me when you could have escaped. It was no problem. That was... That was totally part of my plan. Like, don't... Don't, don't you worry about it. Like... Uh, th this is a, this is totally a genuine smile. I'm so happy for you. Now, go. I think I can hold him off with this shotgun right here. Good luck. You run away. Hello, brave one. You hear in the distance a loud crunching noise. No bullets. Luck really is on my side. You have survived two scenarios. How am I surviving this? Now in the city. You spot your cannibal friend behind you, and you immediately start running away. Why did you go after the hunter? That's free meat right there! Unfortunately, you end up colliding with someone who was carrying a hot dog. Uh, panically toss the hot dog in the direction where your friend was. Uh, quickly apologize to the person? I feel like apologizing is gonna get me killed. I wanna get killed, like, right now. Please, like, I'm gonna quickly apologize to the person. Sorry, my bad. After that, you glance back to see your friend devouring the hot dog that had fallen to the ground. You realize that he also has a grip on your arm, so you decide to trick him. If you want more of these hot dogs, I know just the place where they are. Just let me go and grab them, you said in hopes of tricking him. Your friend falls for it. Are you telling me that being a nice person is helping me here? He, that, well, nice being... I don't know if I'm being nice. I, I did try to kill that last guy. He lets go of your arm, and you hastily head for a nearby hot dog stand. You jump on it, attempting to drive it like a race car, resulting in all the hot dogs spilling out from behind the hot dog stand, causing your friend to chase- WHY CHASE ME?! THERE'S ALL THIS PERFECTLY GOOD HOT DOG AROUND! YOU CLEARLY DON'T CARE ABOUT WHERE THE MEAT COMES FROM! JUST EAT THE GODDAMN MEAT! COME BACK HERE! ALL THESE HOT DOGS ARE NOT AS GOOD AS YOUR FLESH! A few minutes later, you jump out a hot dog stand. As you safely land on top of a shrub of plants, you see your friend still chasing the hot dog stand. You find a saw lying on the floor and decide to pick it up. You are free to run away. How did I survive three scenarios? After a long sprint, you start hearing water. A man is throwing rocks at a duck in the pond. He can't even hit one, though. There are some trees nearby. Ah, this one will be easy, you think. Excuse me, sir. Ugh, can't you see I'm busy? It's just, I'm lost. Oh, screw off. I decide to scare him and make him head towards the cannibal. Be weird. Talk about the ducks. Drop a tree up. How do I drop a tree on this man? How is that possible? I'm gonna do it anyway. Ah, I was lost in the lyrics of a song. A song that was singing in my head. Are you serious? Just leave. Fine, fine. Just stay here. 
in the exact position you are in right now. Weirdo. You pretend to leave the vicinity, but manage to hide behind a large tree. They look around for the perfect tree to bunk on the duck man's head. You end up picking one that looks like it will ra land right on his head. You use the saw to cut the tree and make it fall. Ending the duck man's life as soon as it bunked him. The duck man ends up being squished. You just hope the cannibal doesn't mind it that much. Fast footsteps get closer to your vicinity, so you decide to run away. You have sacrificed one person. Hell yeah. After running for your dear life, Ash still managed to stay close. Why don't you eat any of those other people? Well, maybe if I had all the limbs, I could outrun you. Sam, that was my favorite limb that was taken off. At the very least, was it tasty? Very tasty. Oh, well. If one of us is happy. Uh, now, how the hell will we get out of this one? Kick him on the sun, dude, shine? That'll be really funny, though. Now I'm gonna do it. You gather momentum for a massive Ronaldo-style kick. It strikes true! You no longer have to worry about little baby cannibals running around. You deserved it! You should probably worry about getting away, though. You run away. You've survived four scenarios. Was sacrificing a man not necessary? Maybe it's over. How big can his stomach be? You wonder how he can keep running after you with all that food in his body. Why does he want your meat? There's so many people around. Why couldn't he just pick one of them? What's so tasty about me? Before you know it, he taps on your shoulder. Look, as much as I enjoy my workout, I kind of really need to eat you. Hey, yeah, I don't want to sound thankless. I mean, look at these calves. So sexy. Are you making out with your calves? Wait, with his own calves? He's kissing his own calves? Not the weirdest thing I've seen, honestly. <clears throat> anyway, what was I saying? These days, my memories seem to be enthralled by my beautiful calves. Focus! Now, remind me what I was telling you. Uh, divert the focus onto something else. All ah, right, I shared the story of how much we love collecting random bones we found when we were little. Remember? Not really. Of course you don't, silly head. You used to eat them all. Ah, things normal children do. Uh, if you say so. You told me you kept one of the bones to remind you of the old times. That doesn't sound like me. Shh, shh, shh. Listen, listen, you. Right now, you were about to return to the camp to get it for me. I told you that if you did that for me, I would stop running and let you eat me. Because we must trust in a power of friendship to keep us together. And what better way than from inside you? Do you mean that? Of course, bestie. Okay, stay here. It'll get you that bone. Just remember, I just gotta remember where I put it. Your friend leaves. You successfully trick Ash. You run away. You have survived five scenarios. What am I doing in the back rooms? Still running away from your impending doom, you stumble in upon a train station. Without hesitating, you enter the station and spot some telephone booths. Blessed with the opportunity to finally call your parents for help, you realize, unfortunately, you have no money on hand. You decide to leave the call for later and rush to nearest train that just arrived at the station. Head to the nearest vending machine to see if there's some pocket change underneath it. Yeah. Oddly enough, I feel like uh, the vending machine might actually save me, despite how unlikely it is. This doesn't make sense. I have a feeling it might actually save me. Thankfully, you find a lot of coins, enough to even buy a train ticket, so you do so. Afterwards, you get inside the train and show it to the train conductor. Thanks. You have a safe journey. Thanks. You watch the train conductor leave the carriage and you look around to see who was left. You spot only a few other passengers, which makes you feel safe. You start to relax, thinking you've left the worst behind. Suddenly, the train experiences a terrible accident. You wake up to a terrible scene that left you shocked. Trying to get up from the ground, you check your whole body for any injuries. Thankfully, you were fine, but soon realized something frightful. I gotta get out of here. This train may not have been the... This train may not have been a regular accident after all. Well, well. Someone's been using their brain. I'm proud of you. You look up to see where the voice was coming from. You realize it was your friend and he was already grabbing you. He tried running away from me. Your friend grabs a body part of yours. Oh no! You have four limbs remaining. You somehow ran away. Congrats! 
You got nowhere fast. Good luck next time. Results. You had four limbs remaining. You survived five scenarios. You sacrificed one person. You didn't find a weapon. I could get a weapon. So I'm going to try a run where I just completely screw everything up. I'm just going to do the exact opposite of what I would do. So I'm going to wrestle free from his grasp. But soon realize that he's stronger than you. Ah, your friend gets a body part of yours. You have four limbs remaining. You somehow ran away. Okay, we already, we've already seen all this. I'm going to pretend to be death. You ignore the man and hide yourself behind a convenient tree. Hello? The hunter will still try to reach you, but decide to still ignore him. Hello? Can you hear me? To speak English? Help me! The man's head is totally swallowed up by the cannibal who bit it clean off. Yikes. Oh, well. Kiss it, ah, sit, ah. You should probably bail while you have the time, though. You ran away. You have sacrificed one person. What happens if I sacrifice a whole bunch of people? Now in the city, you spot your cannibal friend behind you. We skip ahead. Uh, panically toss a hot duck in the direction where your friend was. However, before doing so, you notice your friend doing something out of character. So sorry for this. Please don't be mean to my clumsy friend. Ah, don't worry. I don't mind it that much. What? You said as you blankly stared at your friend, who was now assisting the person you just bumped into. Your friend takes this opportunity to take a body part of yours. You have three limbs remaining. You somehow ran away. How many limbs do I have? Yeah, after a long sprint, you start hearing water. We skip ahead. Uh, I scare him. I scare... What, I, what happens if I talk about the ducks? I'm just going to make a quick save. Uh, talk about the ducks. Why are you throwing rocks at the ducks? Look, what do you mean? Leave. It's none of your business. Come on. What did they even do? He appears to get angry at you and starts yelling. These stupid ducks deserve this. They killed my grandma. What? Well, the duck man's back is turned towards you. The very wholesome ducks begin gathering right behind him. What? Ah! The duck man is pulled into the lake and every last bit of his flesh is devoured by the previously wholesome ducks. You witness as his remains, or what's left of them anyway, float into shallow ponds. Suddenly, ash appears. You notice that a cannibal has no meat to eat, so he ends up getting you instead. Oh! I have two limbs left! You somehow ran away. Freck. After running for your dear life, Ash still manages to stay close to you. Skip, and... I say, look behind you! Unfortunately, it is very hard to point at something with no arms. Oh? It's... It's your twin sister! Nice try. I ate her in the womb. What? <laughs> 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 your friend takes this opportunity to get a body part of yours. You have one limb remaining. Might as well move, old friend. You'll take some time to digest. You somehow ran away. How? I probably only have one. Where are my limbs from? Where are my limbs? Maybe it's over. Skip. Uh, Divert the focus to another person. All right. You were telling me about how much you want to eat that man over there. Doesn't he look yummy? Are you sure? Because it would make more sense if I wanted to eat you. Since I'm chasing you and all. Uh, look, cold! You notice your friend spot man you were referring to. Well, I guess if I've already eaten yours, you won't get jealous, will you? You shake your head in response. Good. Stay here. You, in fact, did not stay there. Did, did I instead, like, just hop away on one on one foot? Is, is that what I did? You hopped away as fast as you could. <laughs> you ran away. You sacrificed two people. Still running away from your impending doom, you stumble upon a train station. Let's skip. You move slowly along the tracks and enter what appears to be an empty train carriage. Sitting down to rest for a moment, you're awake when someone touches your cold shoulder. Still, so you open your eyes to find a detective's badge. She explains that she's been investigating a strange string of cases related to cannibalism and points out your missing limbs, asking what happened. You decide to... Uh, claim that you recently suffered an accident and returned to resting. I will save here and say that... I recount everything about my cannibal friend. She proceeds to bandage you properly. Surprisingly, she seems understanding. Perhaps too understanding. So I decide to test her. You ask, could you lend me your phone for a minute? Sure. Let me just call someone first. She makes a call and when placing her phone on your hands, the light on the train go out. What's going on? Nothing you should worry about. Just stay here for a while. 
Try not to give into the dark a few minutes later, you start listening to some footsteps. Took you long enough, someone gets closer to you and says, Sorry, some other stuff happened. You recognize the voice from the same person you were running away from. The voice? How did you get in here? The question is left unanswered as you suddenly felt someone grabbing you. They both get a body part of yours. You have negative one <laughs> How do I have negative one limbs? Oh my god, like, did, did I suddenly fall into the void? Like, did I, did I accidentally create a black hole from my lack of limbs? What? You somehow- How did I run away? Not having the energy or limbs to escape, you try to call out for anyone to help you run away from your fiendish friend. No one ever appears and you end up crying on the floor. Well, I guess this is it. You think about all the times you were happy and realize that many of those times were due to your friend. As you slowly drift away, your friend appears on the scene and says, You always did have the prettiest nose. Let me fix that. You feel a tingling sensation on your face. Suddenly you realize you like the power to even breathe. Oops, a cannibal got your nose. The- <laughs> Frick. You reach the bad end. Results screen. You have negative one limbs, survive zero scenarios, and sacrifice two people. You didn't find a weapon. Where do I even get a weapon? So what if I claim that I recently suffered an accident and returned to rest? She wakes, you, she wakes you up again as the train starts moving. So where are you going at this time? You begin feeling suspicious about her. See my family. Okay. The detective decides to make a call and minutes later, the train's light goes out. Instead of sitting, you decide to press the emergency button to safely exit the train. Stay still. Wouldn't want you to get injured in any way. After saying this, she tries to grab you, but you dodge. This leads her out through the open train doors, resulting in her death. You hear fast footsteps approach you from next train carriage, so in a split second, you decide to leave the train. The train was still moving, but you gathered courage. Come on, I can make this. You jump out a moving train, landing safely in the shrub of land. With one foot? Wait, seriously, I have one limb left. How am I making any of this safely? Make your way back onto the train station. You grab a body part to restore yourself and some items. You find a pistol and decide to pick it up. You restore the... How did I restore a limb? You have two limbs remaining. You somehow ran away. Congrats! You got nowhere fast. Good luck next time. Results screen, two limbs remaining, survive zero scenarios, sacrifice two people, you found a weapon. Why can't I shoot? Right, let's see if we can reach a genocide run. So, uh, first thing I want to do is reach for hot pot, skip this, uh, pretend to be deaf, skip that. Uh, I don't know if, like, helping this guy, like, apologizing to this guy will help. I'm gonna quickly apologize and leave. Uh, drop a tree on him and leave. Uh, look behind you? Oh my god, is that Annabelle Hexa? Where? You distracted Ash. You ran away. You survive three scenarios. Skip ahead. Divert the focus. Okay. Uh, right. You were telling me how much you want to eat that man over there. Does he look yummy? Are you sure? Because it would make more sense if I wanted to eat you. Since I'm chasing you at all. Oh, look! Calves! Yes, calves! Such nice ones you have, Ridley. Yummers. Wait, no! Stop! Not my limbs! God damn it! Might as well move, old friend. You'll take time to digest. You somehow ran away. Wait, I wanted to, like, get rid of that guy. What the hell? Okay, some across the train station. Uh, suffer an accident. Okay. Huh. And I still... Okay, so I've got four or five limbs now. And also, I've got a gun. As you continue running away, anger starts to creep into your thoughts. Why do I have to keep running away when someone who could never beat me to the last lamb sandwich in the school's canteen? I'm so done with this. Can no one help me? You yell out, hoping someone will hear. <laughs> you hear someone's laugh from not too far away. As you look around, you realize where you've just run into. You notice a lot of people on the ground, motionless. Your friend gets closer. You look at your friend, who is now barely visible. All these people. Was it really you who did this? I sure have a big appetite. I thought you already knew that. As you try not to throw up uh, from the stench, you attempt to stand your ground. Do you realize what you've just done? These were people, like you and me. They had futures. Don't you realize how much they mocked me when they went to my parents' restaurant and asked them to serve non-vegan food? 
It sickens me to this day. How much they enjoy not caring about the world. This has to stop. I agree. Chasing you has been quite time consuming. I even missed out on my favorite TV show. Now seeing how far your friend has fallen, you decide to take matters into your own hands. Ash, now clearly visible, can hardly move as his stomach has ballooned from overeating. Yet, even with a chance to run away, you are determined to end it here. You wield your weapon, and then, your friend blows up in a grotesque manner. You are so shocked by this that you end up unconscious. The next day, you open your eyes in a hospital bed. Nearby, you see your parents asleep on some chairs. You turn on the TV to see the news to talk about how a serial killer was found dead next to his victims. You breathe a sigh of relief as you realize that you no longer have to run away. Yet, you feel a bit sad about your friend, Ash. The end. You reach the good end. Results screen. I have five limbs remaining, survive three scenarios, sacrifice two people. I found a weapon. Okay, I'm going to try to reach the true end for this, and for that I need to sacrifice three people. So first thing I'm going to do is reach for the hot pot, which will allow me to run away with all my limbs. Uh, pretend to be deaf, which will sacrifice this guy. I'll quickly apologize, which will allow me to, like, escape and get a saw. I'm going to drop a tree on this guy, and that's going to sacrifice him. Kick him where the sun would shine, I will be able to survive that. Divert the focus. Uh, and now I'm supposed to leave the call for later and rush to the nearest train that has just arrived at the station. Upon entering the carriage, however, a person rudely talks with you. Someone gets close to you and asks, Can I see your ticket? You realize it's a train conductor who was just doing his job of searching for anybody with no train ticket. I'm sorry, but a lot has happened and I don't have the money to get the ticket. Not an excuse! But... You give up on trying to explain your bizarre situation to the train conductor, so he decides on escorting you off the train. Glance you back, you see your cannibal friend ready to hunt you down. Forgot something? Your friend shows you your wallet. You have nowhere else to run off to. In a split second, perhaps due to desperation, you push the train conductor who was standing next to you with all your might in your friend's direction. Your friend gets distracted. You run away. You have sacrificed three people. After a long night, you find yourself exhausted and in dire need of nutrition. You sit on a bench that was close to you and wonder out loud, When will this ever stop? I have sacrificed so many good people, only for Ash to still be chasing me. In the distance, you hear the sound of people having fun. This has to be the worst day of my life, and yet they're having a happy day. Suddenly, you hear footsteps of someone approaching close by. Hey. They heard what you were saying. When did you get here? You get up from the bench, you start running away, but he grabs you. Listen, I didn't know I was hurting you all this time. I just really wanted to get some of your happiness for myself. You give up on running away and sit next to your friend. Eating me is not the solution to that. Have you considered talking to me before? About all this? That happiness, to me, is being a friend to you. You continue. Is human meat all that great for you to decide to cut ties with me? Your friend makes an expression that you've never seen before and says, You don't know till you try it. Your friend shows you a human arm and right then and there, you succumb to your exhaustion and decide to eat it. Turns out you liked it. See? We could still be friends. And you get revenge on the city for not having helped you. You realize that you are being manipulated. But as, it's too, as you still want to be friends, you decide to go with the flow. Your friend helps you get up, and the two of you make your way downtown. You look around all the people walking around and get hungrier and hungrier. With the help of your friend, you end up going for a midnight snack. The end. <laughs> you reached a true end? Oh my god, result screen. You have five limbs remaining, survive four scenarios, and I've sacrificed three people. <laughs> and I didn't find a weapon, unfortunately. Anyway, that was Oops, a cannibal got your notes. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys do want to play this for yourselves, link to the game will be in the description below. I absolutely love games like these. And honestly, like, if you guys do have any more games with, like, dark humor, such as, like, this game and, like, some of the other games I've played in the past, such as, like, Robert Guest, do let me know in the comments below. But anyway... Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a lovely rest of the day. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next video. This is Lion, signing off. Ciao.